when we take a look at our two lines, if some of you are like, well, let me just go ahead and graph this line and then graph this line and, you know, determine whether in fact, you know, these two lines, you know, are parallel, that would be maybe an okay approach uh, if you had like say graph paper, but that's not what we want to do. Matter of fact, here, we don't even need to um, look at the X, Y plane. All we need to do is have a good understanding of the slope of a linear equation or slope of a line, okay? Now, what we're gonna do in both of these lines is find the slope, okay? So here, we're gonna find the slope of this line, and then here we'll find the slope of this line. And in fact, if these two slopes are the same, then what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that these two lines are indeed parallel. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off with this line here, this linear equation here, because determining the slope of this linear equation is so, so easy. Let's go ahead and take a look exactly how you do that. So what you wanna be thinking about is this form of a linear equation, y equals mx plus b. We call this the slope intercept form. It's probably the most common uh, form of a line or a linear equation. So the number in front of the uh, variable x is the slope, okay? This number over here is the y-intercept. So just to be clear, the y-intercept is the point um, where this line crosses the y-axis. So this point right there would be the y-intercept, um, this particular line, and right here that would be the y-intercept, but it's labeled with this point B. Okay, so here we have y equals mx plus b. We're not really interested in b. Okay, I'm not, yeah, I don't really need to know that. I just need to know the slope of this line. Okay, so let's take a look at our first line, which is y equals 3x plus 1. And we can see that y equals 3x plus 1 is in y equals mx plus b form or slope intercept form. So you have to have just a y, not a number in front of y, like, you know, 5y, nothing like that. Y by itself equals uh, then a number in front of X plus or minus another number. So you can see that uh, this linear equation is perfectly in Y equals MX plus P form, slope intercept form. So all I have to do is look at that number in front of X and that is my slope. So in this line, the slope is three. That is so, so easy, right? So I'm like, wow, okay. So, uh, you know, too bad that this other line uh, is not in y equals mx plus uh, y equals mx plus b form. Excuse me, I'm trying to say that fast three times, right? So, uh, anyways, so what we can do though is fix up this line such that it is in y equals mx plus b form. So I hope you're learning something from this video, and if that's the case, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification. This really does help me out on YouTube. Now, if you need additional help in math, make sure to check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and get back to the problem. All right, so now uh, what we're gonna need to do to do this, so here's our line. We want to write it in slope intercept form, i.e. y equals mx plus b. So notice here, this uh, format of this line, this form, it's y equals. Okay, so if I take this equation and I solve for the variable y, y equals, well, I'm effectively going to be putting this uh, linear equation into slope-intercept form. So this is where students get a little bit confused. Now, if you're already kind of having trouble with them talking about it, like, yeah, I'm studying this in school, and I'm a little bit confused on this, you need to really know how to solve equations, especially when it's uh, solved for a specific variable when there's multiple var variables in an equation. It's really, really important in algebra. So I'm gonna direct uh, those of you out there that need extra help in this to either my pre-algebra or algebra one course, all right? You're gonna wanna review how to solve equations, linear equations, and then you can get into um, you know all the additional things about graphing lines, finding the equations, the lines, et cetera. But make sure your equation solving skills are strong. All right, so here again, what we're gonna do is um, take this linear equation and solve for y. So how do I do that? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add nine x to both sides of the equation, okay? So you can see this work right here. So when I add down in a column manner, I get uh, three y plus nothing is three y. 
negative 9x plus 9x is 0, so that goes away. I don't need to write that 0 there. And this is going to be 7 plus 9x, but we'll write this as 9x plus 7, because remember, it's going to be y equals mx plus b, so we want to have that variable term first. Okay, so we're almost there. We have uh, 3y is equal to 9x plus 7, but we want y is equal to, and cannot 3y is equal to. So to fix this up, all I have to do is divide uh, everything by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1y or y. 9 divided by 3, of course, is 3 or 3x. And then we, here we have 7 thirds. Okay, so we are done. And what we just did here is uh, write that linear equation into y equals mx plus b form, slope intercept form. So this number here, 3, is the slope of this line. So its slope is 3. Okay, so let's go back to what we have here. So our first uh, linear equation that we looked at, its slope was 3. And our second linear equation we had to fix up. We had to solve for y and put this into slope intercept form. But when we did that, we saw that its slope uh, is 3 as well. Okay, so basically, these two lines have the same angle, the same, same steepness, the same slope, indicating they are parallel. So we can kind of just uh, write this little fancy thing. Now, this is a kind of little bonus thing I kind of threw in here. So when you study advanced uh, mathematics or mathematics, but especially advanced math and really, you know, high-level mathematics, you really get, um, you know, very good with using different uh, uh, notations, short, shorthand, if you will. So this little um, three dots means therefore. Okay, so I can say therefore, all right, after all this work, line one is parallel to line two. And of course, I could label this as line one and label, label this as line two. But I just kind of threw that in just to kind of um, let you know what this little symbol means, just in case you come across it. Okay, there's a lot of little uh, symbols that, you know, it all depends on what math books you're using or what level of mathematics you, um, what level of math you're in. But as you progress into more advanced mathematics, you start learning all different types of notation. So, you know, again, math is a language, all right? And everything that you're learning in math, you know, you're learning about the verbs, the adjectives, uh, you know, the nouns, the meanings, how to write a story, how to express something. And really, that's what you want to think of. You know, math is a language. So no way you're going to be fluent in any language that you want to learn. Let's say you want to learn Spanish or German. You're not going to be fluent in that language without understanding the basics. And math is no different. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.